Maybe I'll leave. All right. Before we talk about uh, the helmets and the children's hospital, just kind of reflect on spring. You're about done. You have the spring game coming up. Uh, has this been a productive spring for you in the, in the UCF defense? Yes, sir. I have been. Just keep uh, grinding, getting better, learning the playbook. Lee, you went to this, the children's hospital to, to sit down and, and participate in that. What was that experience like for you, and, and how what was it like seeing those those kids, you know, coloring and, and knowing those drawings are going to be part of the helmets for Friday's game? For me, it, it was good seeing it. Never got uh, experience and see something like that. For me, it made me even get closer to my baby girl because them young kids got families that love them. So for me, it made me just get even more closer to my daughter. So that, that's how it touched me. Did you? What, what did you work? Do you? Were you working with anyone specific, specifically any child specifically, or what? Was it just a bunch of the children there? Oh, uh, it was a bunch of. Not when we walked in, we went in, we was coloring with them. Then we went upstairs and visited their rooms. But the experience I had, it just touched my heart, made me get closer to my baby girl. What does it mean for a school like UCF to give back uh, to those kids and give them an opportunity to be part of this working? I mean, giving back, is not even just at UCF, but everywhere, like back home, giving back is important because there's a lot of people who ain't fortunate and not able to have it on their own. So giving back to me for myself is, is very important because you never know what somebody goes through. I grew up, I came from struggle, so, I know how it is and I have. How does that make you feel? Expand on that a little bit more. Were there people maybe in your life when you were younger that looked out for you and did things that helped your family? Uh, it touched me because, it, for me it means, like, if somebody offers you something, that means they care about you. Feel me? Yeah. That's, that's, that's all I can say probably. Like, See, for me, much, it shows somebody care. How much do you think you just developed just as a man in your time here? I mean, you came in and now you're playing a bunch, you know, kids look up to you. Like you said, you're a father now. Like, how much do you think you've kind of grown as a man in your years here at UCF? Well, I, I feel like I grew, but it's, 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 it's more growth to do. Like, you grow and learn every day. So I appreciate Coach Ingram for uh, putting a lot in my life. And that really helped me and become, and as I become and keep growing to become a better man. You kind of mentioned it before, but do you think that your struggle has helped you develop into player and the man that you are today? Yeah, but I just won't say the struggle. What I see, how I grew up, it ain't just all, all about the struggle. It's about the stuff you see and experience, and it help you grow. Like, even when I'm in college, I have situations that I learned just grow from. Lee, how, how, does that, how does that motivate you? How does that, you know, what kind of drive does that give you? I'm sure you, you're looking, you want to have a great season for the team, but you want to have a great season, you know, potentially, I know, maybe go to the next level in the NFL. Like, is that really a motivating factor for you, knowing what your background is? For me, it's really motivated because I don't too much right now think about the NFL because if you win and you, you work on you, you'll get there. So I just worry about, like, winning, take game by game this season. Lee, I wanted to ask you, your, your daughter's name, your little one's name, what's, what's her name? Her name, Kaylee. Kaylee. Okay. And, and, and I know that the, 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 the drawings are going to be used on the helmets. Did you get to pick or see what drawing was going to be on your helmet? Yeah, we got the purple ones, like the purple knight and the purple yellow and I think orange UCF thing on the side. And, and how was your coloring skills? Great, great. The coloring skills, great. <laughs> just kind of reflect on this defense this spring. Um, how's it been just kind of work having the – you know, two, three weeks to work with Coach Roof. What's impressed you about his defense? Have any players maybe stood out to you as well? Uh, players stood out to me probably my dog, Matthew, uh, in 2-7, the cornerback, chasing. Chasing, good player. What's it like working with Coach Roof? Uh, what kind of changes can we expect to see on, on defense? Uh, Are you excited about it? I don't want to get into that, but game day will show the change. How did you approach the offseason from a weight room perspective? What did you focus on? What I focus on is really is my playbook. Like, I was working during spring, but when, on this fall camp, it's, it's going to be what I need to get better at and grow from. What have you identified with some areas that you think you need to get better? Uh, just getting vertical, using my hands better. But yeah, are you going to participate? I, I'm not sure exactly what you guys have planned for like the second half of the spring game. I know there were some fun competitions and stuff. Last year, the guys, big guys were catching punts and things like that. Are you participating in any of those? Activities? Yes, sir. I'm participating in catching the punt. So you're doing that, okay? Yes, sir. Have you been, have you been practicing or getting on the field in your spare time? So uh, I'm the kind of big guy. That's just natural for me. Catching, <laughs> it's natural. You guys all set? Appreciate y'all. Right. Appreciate. Thank you, Lee.
Appreciate it.